Welcome to LifeWords Day by Day, and welcome to Worldview Wednesday. You know, there was a study conducted by Barna Group that was commissioned by Summit Ministries, and it shows these important findings that only 17% of practicing Christians have an authentic biblical worldview. That leaves a stunning 83% of those who consider themselves to be Christians but do not hold a biblical worldview. So what do they believe? Well, this Barner research has found these 83% to be adapting an extraordinary amount of ideas that are rooted in competing worldviews like new spirituality, secularism, postmodernism, Marxism, and even Islam. And so here's a summary of those findings in that study that 61% agree with ideas that are rooted in new spirituality. 54% resonate with postmodernist ideas. 36% accept ideas that are associated with Marxism. 29% believe ideas based on secularism. And then 38% are sympathetic to the teachings of Islam. Summit Ministries goes on to say that from this research, we see that Christians are rapidly adopting beliefs that are in direct contradiction with that of Scripture, agreeing with statements like, we all pray to the same God or Spirit, or no one can truly know what the purpose of life is, and even a statement such as, what is morally right or wrong changes over time based on society. These beliefs can't help but leave us empty-handed and even empty-hearted. Christians, like all humans, are searching for answers to the big questions that they are asking. But the problem is they're looking in the wrong places and finding less than fulfilling answers to the questions about love and pain and meaning and peace and hope and purpose. Is worldview important? Absolutely it is. And Christians need to have a robust, biblically informed worldview or we lose credibility, and we show that we either don't know God's Word or don't really believe it. So be on the lookout for Worldview Wednesday as we seek to strengthen our worldview as Christians. And today, would you please pray for Chris and Alicia Sampson, our missionaries in the Philippines. And also remember the Matango Life Word broadcast that's heard in Tanzania.